We got plenty of ram for those guys, so. If I wasn't so damn tall, it'd be a lot easier, I can tell you. <laughs> yep, that's where he rubs. Okay. Rubs in the dirt, slink thing dirt up on yeah. him and stuff. And Hi, I'm Mike Deming, host of Pro Membership Sweepstakes, Hunt and Fish Like the Pros. It's the last week of March, and we're always down here in Texas with Steve Jones, Backcountry Hunts. We're here to hunt Big Audad. We've got his head guide, Dave Calloway, with us. May Reen's gonna be cooking. We've got two winners, as well as a book client, and we got a lot of Big Audad in this big country back here. Stick around, gonna be exciting. Well, when I uh, won the drawing in October, it hadn't been quite a year at that time. And so I'm in my second year right now. But uh, yeah, it uh, was pretty exciting stuff. Totally shocked when the draw came. It's kind of fun because I, uh, I stopped it as soon as I saw that. And then I went upstairs and woke my wife up. I said, let's put this one together. <laughs> and when it came to me being drawn, we both freaked out together. It was hilarious. It was very, very fun. We have found a, <clears throat> what looks like a pretty nice ram over here. We're gonna move around a little bit and see if we can sneak in closer and maybe get a shot at him. For me, it was my brother. My brother Wayne entered into it and he's always, he's a hunter to the max. And I kind of follow in his shirt's tail. But he found this, he loved it. And he actually won. He won a pheasant hunt and he took me along with him. I was sold out, I mean, it was just amazing. And so I feel very blessed and I've enjoyed everything so much with this. And uh, anyway, he is excited and so I, I joined him too. Well, uh, so I live in Arizona, and the terrain there is, is pretty deserty, kind of rough. Not this rough, although, yeah, maybe in some place it is, but I was amazed at the boulders and the rocks, and it was just, uh, just rough hiking. But I just love the terrain. I mean, this is where you, you feel rugged, you're out in the ser into serious stuff. Uh, the cactus are, you know, they're getting at you, and uh, yeah, it was just really, really fun. You know, until I won it, I didn't even know there was such a thing. So this is actually kind of cool. That's great, man. That's cool. Well, Mark got a ram. Unfortunately, it wasn't the one that we were targeting. You know what, camera angle and cameraman sometimes are different for what you see on the TV as opposed to what was actually happening. Mark had a clear shot at that ram and should have got it done. He shot over the top of him at 380 yards and hey, he got the wrong ram. But he's still got a 27 inch mature ram. He's got great hair, got a trophy of a lifetime and ultimately he's really happy. He's got a reason to come back again to get that great big one. Stick around, we got more tags to fill and John's up next. We pulled up here this morning, got the sun to our back and Zach found a stomper. Well, uh, I got a phone call from my, my cousin, uh, Troy, and he told me about the pro membership suites sweepstakes. So I looked it up and decided if I was going to join or not. I waited until Monday and my cousin called me back and he told me that one of his friends, Ethan, his wife, Ashley, won this hunt. They offered it to my cousin. Well, my cousin's in Texas right now out fishing in the Gulf and he couldn't go. So he told them about me and um, they decided to uh, gift me the hunt.
Well, thank you, Zach. <laughs> it's just amazing, you know. Um, I first want to start off by thanking Backcountry Dave and Steve. And meals have been phenomenal. Uh, Hospitality has been phenomenal. Uh, great big shout out to uh, Mike. And uh, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. The teamwork out here is just phenomenal. You know, from the spotter to the to the cameraman to the to the guide. You know, and to the cook. It's just uh, amazing. So my overall experience was this is a, this was a hunt of a lifetime. You know, I'll never forget this. Uh, um, my leaving thoughts is I don't want to leave. I would just like to just stay here and do this every day. You know, um, it'd be be a sweet thing to do to have a job like this. You know, so but I'll definitely come back. Well, congratulations, John, on a great ram. You know what? We spotted that ram first thing in the morning, and I stayed in the high rack. Was the eye in the sky? The team followed after him and he disappeared multiple times and they stayed after him, turned him back up and John made a phenomenal shot on a 30 plus inch ram. Trophy ram of a lifetime. Congratulations once again. Now let's see what Tracy can get done. A few years ago, I uh, thought, you know, I could, with three chances per month at winning something major. So uh, I looked into it, read a couple reviews online, and it seemed like Mike was an upfront guy. So I, I signed up for the process a couple years ago. Not won anything yet, but I do know that Mike, uh, you know, he talks about he vets all his clients that he gives the trips away for. And uh, I was looking through his catalogs and, uh, and the um, YouTube videos, and uh, they both pointed towards Steve Jones and these odd ad hunts. That he, and uh, I had an unsuccessful odd ad hunt uh, just prior to COVID in 2020, but I always wanted to try it again. So things kind of lined up for maybe trying this out. So I talked to Mike. Yeah, they were doing the, the odd ad hunt again. The, the price was uh, uh, enough attractive that I could afford it. And uh, I thought I'd go with uh, somebody that Mike knows. He's personally used Steve Jones, and Steve Jones has a good reputation in the industry. Good shot, buddy. Outstanding. 30 out six. <laughs> Old school is the best school. If I wasn't so damn tall, it'd be a lot easier, let me tell you. <laughs> you need this magazine? No. Sure. It was it was good. We got good vision. We had to play the game and back out and get line of sight. There's too many eyes, Zach. There was just too many eyes down there. It was a whole herd. And we had a couple of rams to choose from. And then Mike set the truck. He helped us find the right one. I went to him and Dave got dialed in on the right one. We were able to get set up here and had a decent shot. The breeze is blowing a little bit, a little bit of nerves. And not rock steady, of course, sitting on the, not being prone. But uh, I just, tried to make an easy squeeze whenever the crosshairs would get in the right place and just waited for him to cross there one more time when his head was turned and squeeze the trigger. I heard the impact and I could tell he was coming down towards the hill from us and just hit. And the rest of the herd went up the hill and he didn't follow. He stopped right behind a bush and was just starting to come back up trying to chase those other ones and then it looked like he, uh, looked like he killed over from there. So here in a little bit we'll, uh, we'll make a move on him. Nice shot, buddy. Thanks. Good shot. I went from doing triathlons, multiple triathlons a year, to having that stroke five months later. It was a time two years ago I didn't think I could ever walk again. And then to the point I could walk a mile, then I could walk three miles, and then I could step it up from there. But it's been a goal ever since I can walk to someday get back in the field. I want to thank everybody for that. I think an outstanding morning. And this right here is proof. Yeah. I think, Gracie. I had a good time. 
Heck of a morning, buddy. Heck of a morning. Well, three trophy rams in three days. You know what, that doesn't always happen. These are four day hunts, but we always get it done. And one thing's for sure, we always have a great time. That's why we give this trip away each and every year. Thanks for joining us in this episode of the Pro Membership Sweepstakes, Hunt and Fish Like the Pros. Make sure you're a member because you might be down here with us next year.